Yo, what's happening guys, it's Colossius X, and today I'm just going to show you guys a few of the best mods available for the latest Minecraft. Um, now the best thing to do, first of all, is to down your, uh, download yourself a mod pack. And what a mod pack does is just basically installs a load of mods without having to do any kind of fuss or anything like that. So, at the moment there's two really popular mod packs, and that seems to be Tech It and Feed the Beast. Uh, now, it's just really personal preference as to what you prefer. Um, I personally prefer Tekkit. It's just a lot of mods that I actually preferred, like would have installed previously. Um, I mean, Feed the Beast is still a really good mod pack. You should try it out, and then make your preference as to what you prefer. Um, but yeah, so one of the mods that you'll get with Tekkit, and this just comes pre-installed, is Steve's Cart 2. And what you can do is you can build this, which is a cart assembler. So if I right-click on this it'll basically allow me to choose a different kind of engine to use so you can get like solar engines, coal engines um, thermal engines and it's just basically what kind of source of power to power the cart and then what you do is you drag that in and you get a picture of the cart here and then you can add attachments like you can add rifles not rifles uh, like a bow and arrow cart you can add a seat you can put like um, a storage on the front and on the sides and then based on what kind of hull you're using so you put the engine in which is the hull it allows you to have like a set amount of upgrades so the better the hull the more upgrades you can have and you can put stuff like add-ons and that kind of thing so you can upgrade the carts once they've been developed I'm going to show you one of the carts that I've pre-made so if we go out into my front garden and I've got a machine that is protecting my garden it's protecting my crops right so here it is over here it's basically it's an advanced shooter module so if I press E and this is also something that comes with Tekkit it's too many items mod and it just shows you all the items you can craft that you've got installed and if you click on one it'll tell you how to craft it and if you've got a crafting table and you click on it and then click on something and click question mark it'll set it out for you so you can drag your items in um, you won't forget because I'm like that I'll forget as soon as I have it off the page so here he is, and this guy's got a coal engine, and he's got an advanced shooter module, and I'll show you exactly how it works. So if you go to here, these are all the upgrades. So if I go to an advanced shooter module, this is what I needed to make it. So it's quite expensive. I mean, it's not extremely expensive for an advanced shooter, <coughs> but it is quite expensive, yeah. So if I put coal into this guy, or if I put jungle wood you see he'll go round now and he'll shoot anything that we see any kind of enemy that comes in sight but fortunately it's daytime so not on up here but it's basically like it'll shoot bow and arrows it'll go tum 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 with a bow and arrow and it's quite it's quite useful uh, another mod that is really really good is the modular power shoot uh, modular power suits and this mod allows you to basically add a power armor and then increase it so if I put it on here you can see that it's really detailed for Minecraft and the legs I haven't got any boots at the moment so he looks a bit silly but as you can see it's quite a big suit and then you click on this machine and then it basically allows you to upgrade it so you can get like power armor plating you can get different kinds of energy sources now obviously the better the energy source the more expensive it is so this one generates power from extreme amount of heat so that's from lava so if you stood I think that's if you stand in lava it generates power to your suit and then these kind of things can be used if you've got enough power so you get like gliders parachutes jetpacks um, and you get all kinds of upgrades so based on what piece of armor you're using you get a different upgrade so for the head you get sight kind of things like water breathing uh, auto feeder so you don't have to worry about it and an airtight seal that is for space now talking of space um, ooh flight control yeah talking of space there's also a mod installed called Galacticraft and this is something that basically allows you to go up into space to a space planet it's basically the moon at the moment it's only the moon but they are adding a lot more uh, if you check out Yogscast they've got a video where there's loads of different planets on their their video so um, I'm excited about that but at the moment as I say you can only go to the moon and you do need to craft a spacesuit because your character cannot breathe on the moon 
Uh, but yeah, at the moment we have not gone into space. That's the space, um, the launch pad, and you build a rocket and then you shoot off. And you can also craft your own space station, and your friends can come and visit, which is pretty awesome. Uh, another mod is the enchanted arrows. Let's go over to that. There we are. At the bottom, you see these penetrating arrow, seed arrow, fire arrow, uh, exploding arrow. So you can go like Rambo. A dirt arrow, a confusing arrow. That basically, if you shoot it at a mob, it'll basically turn him around. So if you, if he's looking at you and you shoot him in the face with that, it'll basically blind him and he'll just walk away. Frost arrows. I think that freezes them in place. A penetrating arrow. I'm sure they do more damage. And the, as I say, you get fire arrows as well, which just basically set the ground alight. So it'll also set mobs on fire. I've also got one which. Um, it's an extra rope mod, it's called Ropes Plus. That's installed separately to Tekka. Uh, so as you can see, you just need these. I'm not sure if I've got them on me at the moment. I'm sure I've got some rope though. You craft rope by basically having three bits of string in the center. A uh, rope, here we are. So, if I craft some. So basically it's stick, rope, and then feather. And as you can see, you get a few. So if I get a few of them. And when you install this, as you can see at the top, you've got rope arrow times 24. You press comma, and you can switch between your arrows so you don't have to like change bow or anything like that. So, with the rope arrow, if I shoot it up there... Did I even shoot the rope arrow? It needs to be on a corner. It's gonna like let me down now. Watch. It's been working all day, and then I'll go and make a video, and it won't work. Yeah, for some reason it's not working. It does work, as you can see. It's like it's trying to do it, but I think it's because it's like on concrete. There we go. Right. Thought it was gonna embarrass me then. Right. So you can climb up the rope. So it can only be done on dirt, apparently. You can also get a. What are they called? basically where you slide down and it'll go to a point and you grab hold of it and you can yeah you know can't think of the word at the moment you also get grappling hooks which you basically throw up and a rope will appear down from where you you land so that's you can climb up and down the ropes it's a really useful mod I suggest you get it um, let me see what other mods I've got let's press E um, I've got the basic mods so you've got like industrial craft kind of thing. Um, let me just check. I'm not sure if the latest tech it actually got rid of industrial craft. It's got red power, so these are the red power um, machines and you can use them with these generators. So at the moment down here I've got generators and it basically electricity is sent across and up to my machines up top and then I've got also a pipe behind if you see the pipes and that is being funneled in from a system over on the front garden which needs to be moved and it's basically just bringing water up from there up to my machines which is pretty awesome uh, what else have we got there's quite a lot of mods I mean there's a lot that I can't even like talk about the backpack mod is something that you should get uh, this just basically allows you to have a little backpack or a big backpack and if you have a small one this is how many slots you get and it basically the big one I believe adds another two rows so it's it's quite large it's just like doubling your inventory for first of all and then it's like tripling it so it's definitely worth getting um, we already talked about Galactic Craft uh, Balcon's weapon mod this is something that you should get as well this is it adds a lot more weapons to the game you get like your medieval ones, you also get a rifle and a shotgun or a blunderbuss so the rifle is a musket and the blunderbuss is like your shotgun you also get a cannon as well so you can put like cannons on top of your base and then you can have like an, a, a config which stops them from destroying buildings so it's it'll stop you causing any damage to your, like, your surroundings but it'll kill mobs that it lands on which is pretty awesome but you can set it to destroy land as well if you so wish uh, let's have a look. 
So yeah, there's the there's the weapons. You get like flails, hammers, battle axes, spears, all the good stuff. Another one is trap craft. This adds like bear traps and it also adds a fan which pushes mobs into pitfalls so you can get spikes and if a mob falls onto the spikes it will kill it slowly so you can get as I say you can get spikes you can get a grass covering so you can cover your pitfalls and then a mob will walk on it and it'll break and it'll fall straight onto the pitfall but the bear trap will grip a mob and make it bleed and it'll stop it from moving you also get the igniter uh, which is if you set a redstone signal it'll burst out a big shoot of flames at the top so you can set like little traps and that kind of thing and uh, the magnetic chest basically pulls mob pulls items around it from around it into the chest uh, but for some reason the range isn't that good on it like from what I've seen it seems to be pretty close um, but it's worth getting I mean if you've got something to push it onto the item uh, I'll show you how the fan works actually I seem to have a fan on me so we'll put a fan there it'll do nothing until you get a signal and then it'll push you back so as you can see the fan it'll just basically push mobs into traps and that kind of thing it's pretty awesome uh, but I think that's pretty much it for my favorite mods you also can get nether ore and this just basically adds all the ores from the game into the nether so if you're in the nether a lot it's worth getting there's also nether quartz which you can use to craft certain items that you can't get from the uh, the overworld. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, you also get computer craft and that kind of thing on this. There's a lot of mods that I haven't talked about here that are also, you know, included with TechIt uh, that are definitely worth getting. I just want to make sure that I've covered all my favourite ones. Uh, the other one is the pet bat. It just basically gives a purpose to bats, so you can get hold of them and you can use them and level them up. And they'll also attack and life leech. It's pretty worth. It's definitely worth getting. Actually, get the pet bat mod because it just basically gives bats a purpose. Because at the moment they are just useless. Um, but that's about it, people. So yeah, that's my video. Top mods for the latest Minecraft. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link to Tech It and Feed the Beast below. I suggest getting a mod pack and then installing your your mods later on, like installing additional mods onto Tech It or Feed the Beast. Uh, but yeah, people, thanks for watching. Welcome to my Casa, Casa Dali, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, bye-bye.